a very good morning students of class 11th moving on with the chapter of thermodynamics as promised in my last video i am doing the numerical class of finding the enthalpy of any given reaction if you are provided with enthalpies of formation so if you are given enthalpies of formation in the reactants and the products then you can easily find the enthalpy of the reaction the formula that we use for this purpose is that the enthalpy change standard enthalpy change of a reaction is equal to total of all the heat of formation of products minus total of all the heat of formation of reactants now the important part is that heat of formation values are in kilojoules per mole which means if any of your reactants or products is more than 1 mole you will have to multiply with the value because these values are per mole given to you and if your reaction says has 2 moles of water molecule then in that case you will have to multiply the enthalpy of formation with 2 for water now to understand this concept i hope you already are aware of enthalpy of formation if not please watch my last video which was dedicated to enthalpy of formation bless you kids we'll begin with the numerical section now you are watching the channel by seema makhijani and i'm trying to make the chapter of thermodynamics easy for class 11th cbse students bless you lords please keep liking subscribing and sharing and try to share them in relevant groups to promote the video now to understand this concept we would begin with the numerical i have taken the first question as you have to find the enthalpy change of a given reaction that's the given reaction from the provided values of standard enthalpy of formation which means your delta hf not are provided to you the delta hf nots i have not given you exact values i have used x y and z to just give you the concept now as you can see the first thing that you would do is please check that the equation should be balanced whatever reaction is given to you at times it may not be balanced and you would lose your marks so first thing is to check whether the given equation is balanced or not carbon is 1 carbon is 1 hydrogens are 4 hydrogens are 4 oxygens are 2 and 1 3 while here it is 2 and 2 4 now what so to balance the oxygens you have three oxygens on this side but you have four on this side so what i would do is we'll keep the four here this is four one is already with you yani you require three more so i'll make it as a 3 by 2 is that clear so the first step was to balance the given equation otherwise your question will go wrong next step is always to write the formula of the numerical solving otherwise you lose on your marks so for calculating the enthalpy change for this reaction you have to total up the enthalpy of formation of all the products minus enthalpy of formation of all the reactants fine now under the category of all the products the products are co2 so you require here the values that you would require therefore are delta hf not of co2 how many co2s do you have products may only one co2 so only once plus you require water so enthalpy of formation of water but these values you require them to be twice because these values are per mole now subtracting it by subtraction now i have to take on the reactants under the reactants what do i have i have a methanol so enthalpy of formation of methanol which i will get from here x and it is just one mole so once also in the reactant side i have enthalpy of formation of oxygen required do you remember this value will be taken as zero the reason is it is an element and this value is not even given to you please never make a blunder of asking your teacher please give the value for oxygen you will make a fool of yourself so don't be a laughing stock and remember that enthalpy of formation which is not given to you is that of oxygen and this value is going to be zero because it is an element fine now we will substitute these values what is for co2 it is a y plus what is for h2o it is a z so two times z what is for methanol it is an x water you don't require so your answer would be y plus 2 times z minus x fine so the rest will be calculation these values would be given to you just solve them and get the answer don't forget the units written are kilojoules per mole 
Now this reaction, this question can also be given as they might have given you the reaction ka enthalpy is given. They might give you water and CO2 and they can ask for enthalpy of formation of methanol which means in this particular formula the right side, the left side, the delta HR0 is given and when one of these may not be given and then you can solve it. Moving on to the next question. Let's go through the first question. You have to find the enthalpy of formation of Fe2O3 from the given data. Now the first thing I need is, I need the correct equation for the enthalpy of formation of Fe2O3. This is not the correct equation. So your target equation is formation of Fe2O3 which has to be one mole from its constituent elements. The constituent elements will be Fe plus O2. Please balance the equation in a way that this 1 does not change. This has to remain 1 because you have to calculate enthalpy of formation. So balancing it in a way that this remains 1. So I have a 2 here and I have how much of this? 3 by 2. Is this okay? Now I need to obtain this equation from the given equation. So what do I need to do? The steps that I need to follow is the given equation has got Fe2O3 on the left hand side. I need it on the right hand side which means I need to reverse the equation. Also this equation has twice. I need it once. So the step will be divide the equation by 2 so that you get 1 and also reverse it which means your answer here enthalpy of formation would be equal to you need to use this value first of all reverse it so that the value becomes negative when you reverse an equation a thermochemical equation if reversed you get the value to be negative if you have doubts please watch my video on thermochemical equations in the playlist of thermodynamics since I have to reverse it so the value instead of positive becomes negative also I need to divide it by 2 so that I end up in this equation so I have transformed the given equation into my equation the same thing is also to be done to the enthalpies and now this enthalpy changes to enthalpy of formation. What will be the value? Divide 934 by 2. So your answer here in this case becomes minus 450 for 917 that makes it 467 kilojoules per mole. That's the answer. Fine. Moving on to the next question. The next question says you have to calculate the enthalpy of formation of CO2 which means this is not provided to you. Alright. From the given data of the reaction, a reaction is given to you and the enthalpy of reaction is given to you. We very well know if the enthalpy of reaction is given to you and heat of formations are given to you, the formula is summation of enthalpy of formation of the products minus total of enthalpies of formation of the reactors. Now let's add it on which means enthalpy of the reaction will be equal to what are the products CO2 and H2O. So it is enthalpy of formation of CO2. Uh, just check whether the equation is balanced. Carbon 1, carbon 1, oxygen 4, oxygen that's it. Sorry 2. Oxygen 4, oxygen 4 that is the error that you normally make there are here you will have it twice so you have four oxygens to make it two and two hydrogen is four hydrogen is four now it is balanced so please balance the equation at times the questions may not give you a balanced equation so enthalpy of formation of co2 plus two times the enthalpy of formation of h2 minus the products what were the minus the reactants in reactants you have two things out of these two things you will not write this because this value is 0. Enthalpy of formation of elements is 0 so I am only writing enthalpy of formation of CH4 plus 0 just to remind you. Is that fine? Which means my enthalpy of reaction is given to me it is minus 840 is equal to enthalpy for CO2 just a minute I'll just adjust the sheet Okay. So enthalpy of reaction was given to you minus 840. Enthalpy of formation of CO2 is to be found. So you have an X which is to be calculated plus. For water the value given to you is minus 380. So it is 2 times minus 380 
minus. The enthalpy of formation of methane, the value given to you for methane is 430 and it is a positive value. So, 430 and 0 I am ignoring. Using all these value, you can easily determine the value of x and x can be found as minus 840 and this is a minus so plus 2 into 380 plus 430 will give you your answer don't forget report the answer in kilojoules per mole because this x value is nothing but enthalpy of formation of methane so this is a reaction where the reactions enthalpy was given to you all the heat of formations were not given one of them was to be found. So, the formula remains the same. Enthalpy of reaction is the sum of enthalpy of products minus the total of enthalpy of reactants. The common error is you do not balance the equation as I did. So, you people don't forget, please balance the equation before you move ahead. With this, I close my class and I hope you have understood how to find the enthalpy of a reaction from the provided enthalpies of formation. My next video would again be on enthalpies of reactions to be found but in that case bond energies would be given. So please wait for my next video where I would be taking up numericals using the bond energies to find out the enthalpy of reaction. Do well kids, stay well, stay safe, stay inside, bless you loads, keep watching, subscribing and feeling that chemistry is an easy subject. That's the target and I hope I am going towards it. Bless you loads. Bye for now.